could the Bahamas survive against the world? That's what we're going to find out today. Uh, we got a bit of an interesting challenge today. So, it was an issue with one of my mods that made it so I could have more slots here. But, um, they're all locked because apparently, uh, this place started with zero building slots. So, I had to do a bit of a workaround. So, I got a mod that allows me to have off-map factories. The only issue is that it's only military, civilian, and naval, so we can't really have fuel or anything like that. Um, so what I did, I went to my focus tree here. I got everything that would give me building slots. And then I pretty much removed those buildings and added what I needed. So I pretty much just maxed out on the fuel things and then add more civilian factories so we can get resources from those. Um, the next challenge is going to be manpower. I'll probably add some later on. Let's say like uh, 50,000 to start. There we go. So we got 50,000 manpower to start. I might end up adding more if needed, uh, depending on how next little while goes. Then I also gave myself cores on every country in the Caribbean here. Uh, not the country themselves, but I got the state ID for each and then I plugged them in. So now I'll have cores on each of these. Then for the country we'll be playing in next episode, we'll be going as Bangladesh right here. Which this might be an interesting one, so make sure to leave your suggestions. And I'll try them out in the next video. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. And while I'm here, another thing I did is I got research all the way up to 1940. As you can see here, I wanted to make it a little bit different so I didn't like have necessarily everything unlocked. But we're going to start out with some decent stuff. Although we can't really research until forever from now. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'll go ahead and get started. I'll bring it back when something happens. Alrighty, so we made it to 1937 and something interesting that I noticed, we don't actually have any high commands, so it's going to be rather interesting trying to get our army XP. Um, I'm trying to see if I just need to spawn division before it actually lets me put someone in, but I'm not entirely sure. We might be a little bit screwed here if we can't get any... Uh, XP uh, in other terms this could be a short run <laughs> but uh, we'll see how things go yeah so it doesn't look like we could actually get a chief of army or any sort of high command here uh, so I might be in trouble I guess I'll just see what I can do here uh, I might have to do some training but it should be okay already so we made it to 1938 and it's looking a little interesting. Um, we made it to being communist, so I just gotta switch some of the stuff around like this. Then once I get some army XP, I'll get the ideological loyalty. Other than that, not too much really going on. Um, I'll go ahead and bring it back in another year. I think we got about two years until the war start, which I'm not even close to being ready. <laughs> Alrighty, so we made it to 1939 and things are starting to ramp up a bit. I went ahead and got a small marine force ready. So once the war starts, we're going to land in the Dominican Republic. This is going to give us access to some more factories and manpower since we have a cord. Um, then we're also going to push through Haiti. And I think I'm probably just going to push through these islands here once we get a big enough force to hold these islands. We'll see how things go. I'm mostly just doing cavalry for my garrison force. Uh, I do need to build that up some more. However, manpower is going to be a bit of an issue. Um, obviously, we only started with 50,000 people. I did end up adding another 50,000 uh, just so I can grab more divisions because I don't think it's going to be enough to hold out against uh, certain United States here. But we're going to go ahead and jump forward one more year, and then we'll start the war. Alrighty guys, we are in 1940. 
Now I went ahead and got the navy set up. I pretty much just been mass producing some destroyers. So they're gonna be doing some strike force and convoy escorts. Um, I don't really know a lot about navy, so I don't know how effective this is gonna be, but uh, I think we're about ready to start. Looks like they got a couple of divisions on the border with Haiti here, but I don't know if they got anything on their ports. But let's go ahead and get started here. Bahamas versus the world. And here we go. We're going to go ahead and click through this. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. If you are, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. Now let's go ahead and launch this invasion. Actually, oh no, we don't have naval supremacy anymore. Alright, hopefully we can get naval supremacy. But... Um, if we can't, that's going to be a bit of an issue. It would be very unfortunate. Alrighty, looks like we got our first naval invasion in which they ended up retreating. So we killed 300 of them compared to zero losses on our end. Um, the KD is nice, but it's not really much scaled to it. So this is going to be a very slow match. Uh oh, that's not good. Did they, did they just kill my convoys here? That's unfortunate. Okay, I guess we just lost 8,000 people. Um, they're preparing another naval invasion. Let's see how it goes. And they ran away. And it looks like our fleets are pretty much out of action already. Uh, not a great start. There's another attack here. What we got? Alright, let's switch our target here. Alrighty, so after a year of fighting, it's been getting a little interesting. We still can't get naval supremacy, but um, yeah, casualties are a little bit more in our favor again. They've been trying to naval invade us a lot, but um, we've been pushing back. We still lost a lot of troops, so that's mostly just because they got caught in the water, so it is what it is. Um, we'll just have to keep them on their spawn island. And that was very bad. Uh-oh. So frankly, nothing has really happened. So I'm going to do a time lapse, and if something happens, I'll bring it back. But we're just gonna speed forward until maybe either this la landing happens, um, or until we die. But here we go. Alrighty, so you can probably believe my surprise when I say that nothing really happened. Um, we've been killing a lot of their bombers, it looks like. They've been bombing the heck out of this naval base, which, that's okay. Um, we'll go ahead and rack up some bomber kills there. Um, in terms of casualty reports, we got close to a 10 KD, uh, just a little under it, but... Not really much has happened. They keep trying to invade us, but we keep pushing them out. Um, we can't really reinforce it or else we're going to destroy any convoys we send out. So we're pretty much just stuck with what we got here. Um, we can reinforce them with map power, of course, but um, that's going to last a little while. And I don't really want to wait that long. Um, we can't even send a naval invasion here, which looks like it just got repelled instantly. So it's not too big of a deal. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It wasn't all that riveting. But we got the Bangladesh next. So that will be a lot of fun. Uh, there's somewhere in here. Let's see if I can find it. Or actually wrong. I'm in the wrong area. 
right here yeah there we go so we got bangladesh there go ahead and leave your suggestions in the comments and we'll try that next time but i hope you guys enjoyed this video as boring as it was hopefully the next one will be better um but if you did enjoy it make sure to hit that like button possibly subscribe and i will see you all next time